Splashing down off the Florida coast, the trailblazing capsule carrying the first all-civilian crew to ever orbit the Earth. Inspiration 4, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home to planet Earth. Thanks so much, SpaceX. It was a heck of a ride for us. That's the voice of the mission's commander, billionaire Jared Isaacson. He paid an undisclosed sum, said to be about $200 million, for the flight and his three guests, blasting off from Cape Canaveral on Wednesday. The spacecraft, built and launched by entrepreneur Elon Musk's company SpaceX, was fully autonomous and operated by teams on the ground. The whole journey uphill was only about 12 minutes. Uh, so before we knew it, we were hanging in our straps and floating, uh, and then we were like, what do we do next? The capsule soon reached an altitude of about 585 kilometres above Earth, the farthest any human has flown from our planet since 1972. This is the largest window ever flown in space. We can put our head in and fit multiple crew members and see the entire perimeter of the Earth. And the views, I have to say, are out of this world. Elon Musk has reportedly said he's more interested in building the infrastructure for private space travel than taking off himself. This space odyssey was far higher, faster and longer than the recent flights by Musk's space rivals and fellow billionaires Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos. Theirs didn't orbit the Earth and lasted mere minutes. But together, the three outings have launched a new era in space tourism. I think it brings excitement and it actually gets more people interested in space. And not only that, but this particular flight was part of a fundraising effort for St. Jude Children's Research Hospitals. So it's, it's done a lot of good. Its return involved a plunge through Earth's atmosphere that sent temperatures outside the capsule soaring to 1,900 degrees Celsius. That's such a cool shot of Dragon uh, coming back down to Earth. It then parachuted down into the Atlantic shortly before sunset, with its jovial crew exiting the craft less than an hour later. What's being called the second space age is now underway. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.